Thank you, Jesus. Our God will make the way where there seems to be no way. You walk in ways we cannot see. You will make a way for us. You will be our guide. Hold us closely to your side. With love and strength for each new day. You will make a way. You will make a way. God, you make a way. Where there seems to be no way. For you walk in ways we cannot see. You will make a way for us. You will be our guide. Hold us closely to your side. Love and strength for each new day. You will make a way. You will make a way. I bless you, I bless you, I bless you, O Lord, our God, for this opportunity to come before your throne of grace, to receive grace, to receive mercy, Father, to receive healing, to receive life, because in you, O God, is life. Thank you, Father, Lord God Almighty, that we have you. Thank you that it is you, you, O oh Lord, that are God. Thank you, Father, Lord God Almighty, that it is you that we worship. It is you that we desire. It is you that we love, that we want, that we seek, that we adore. It is you, O oh God, that you are beautiful for all situations. It is you, O oh God, that is the precious, precious lily of the valley. It is you, Jehovah, that is the bright and the morning star. It is you. It is you that are the precious, precious Holy Spirit. Oh, Lord God Almighty, I thank you. I thank you, Jehovah, because of your fullness I have received my relationship with you started with your healing. Started, Father, Lord God Almighty, with your touch. Started, Father, Lord, with your wonderful works. And I know, Lord, that you do not change. You, O oh God, you are not a shifting shadow. You remain the same yesterday and today. You remain the same forevermore, and I bless you. I bless you, O oh God, for you. I bless you, O oh God, for Jesus. I bless you, O oh God, for your spirit. Your word says we should be anxious for nothing, but in everything, in everything, by prayer, by supplication, and with thanksgiving. We should make our requests to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all all understanding will guard our hearts and our minds through Christ Jesus. 
And so, Lord God Almighty, we obey the scripture this morning. And we ask Jehovah for your peace. Your peace that passes all understanding. For your peace, oh God, Father, Lord God Almighty, is much more, has a lot more depth than the, 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 the peace of men. Your peace, your peace is shalom. Your peace is nothing broken, nothing missing. Your peace, oh God, is not only peace of mind. Your peace is soundness of health. Lord Jesus, you say your peace, your peace you give to us. The peace that you have given us is not like men give. And because of your peace, Lord, you say that we should not be afraid. We should not be anxious. We should enter into your rest. And so, Lord God Almighty, this morning I say, bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, Father, Lord God Almighty, I used to bless the holy day. Oh, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Let me not, let me never forget the benefits of this great God of this compassionate power, of this God of goodness and loving kindness and truth. For he is the one who forgives all our sins. He is the Lord who heals all our diseases. You, O oh God, you are the Lord. The God who redeems our lives from destruction. You are the God that is full of grace and compassion. Who crowns us with loving kindness and tender mercies. You are the Lord who satisfies our mouth with good things, who lays the table before us in the presence of our enemies. Lord God Almighty, you are the God that gives us the bread of life so that our youth is renewed like eagles. And so, Lord God Almighty, we have come this morning to bless you. We have come this morning to praise you. We have come this morning to magnify you. We have come this morning to exalt you. For you, O oh God, are the one who gives power to the weak. You are the one who increases strength to those who have no might. The word says, even the youth, they shall be faint and weary. And the young men shall utterly fall, but those those of us who wait upon the Lord, we shall renew our strength. Yes, we shall renew our strength. We shall mount up with wings as eagles. We shall walk. We shall not be weary. 
We shall run, we shall not faint. And so, Lord God Almighty, we come to you this morning in the confidence of your word. Knowing, oh God, that the word that proceeds out of your lips shall never, never, never return to you void, but shall accomplish that to which you sent it. And so, Lord God Almighty, we know that whatever things we ask when we pray to you, we believe and we receive. When we pray to you, we believe we have our petitions and we receive answers. We receive answers to our requests. For this, oh God, this is the confidence that we have in you. That if we ask anything, anything, anything according to your will, you hear us. And we know, oh God, that since you hear us, we have whatever petitions we have brought before you. And so, Lord God Almighty, we hold fast our confession of our hope in Christ Jesus. We hold fast to it without wavering, oh God, for we know But you who promised, you are faithful. You are a faithful God. And so, Lord, we do not cast away our confidence, which has great reward. And so we bless you, O God. We bless you, O oh God, because your will, your will is done. Your will will always be done. We bless you, O oh God, because your wish, you wish above all things that we may prosper and be in health. Even as you have given prosperity to our soul in Christ Jesus. And so, Lord God Almighty, this morning we call upon you, oh God, we say, oh, our God and our Father, be gracious to us, oh God. We have waited for you. We have waited on you, oh God. Be gracious. Be gracious to us. Be our arm every morning, oh God. Be our salvation in the time of trouble. You say, call unto you in the day of trouble. And you will deliver us and we shall glorify you. Oh Lord God Almighty, we call on you this morning. We say, have mercy on us, oh God. For we are weak. Heal us, O oh God, for our bones are troubled. Heal us, O oh Lord, and we shall be healed. Save us, O oh Lord, and we shall be saved for you and you alone. You are our praise. You are our praise. Lord God Almighty, we are confident that you will restore health to us. We are confident that you will heal us of our wounds. For you, O oh God, you are the Lord who, who heals the brokenhearted. You 
are the one who binds up the wounds of those that are afflicted. For in all our afflictions, oh God, you are afflicted and you send the angel of your presence to save us. And so Lord God Almighty, we say this morning that whatever it is, whatever the enemy conspires against us, you, O oh Lord, make an utter end of it. For afflictions, according to your word, will not rise up a second time. They will not rise up against us a second time in the name of Jesus. And so this, O oh God, is our comfort in our affliction. For your word has given us life. Your word has given us life. For you, Jehovah, will take away from us all sickness. You will afflict us with none of the diseases. of Egypt, which we have known. But you will lay it, you will lay them on those who hate us. We well, thank you. We well, thank you, Father Lord God Almighty, because you are the God who heals us. You are the God who heals us. You have also given us this assurance, O oh God, that these signs will follow us because we are believers. They will follow us because we trust in you, because we hope in you, because we depend on you, because, O oh God, we believe. We believe in you. We believe and we speak. In the name of Jesus, we will cast out demons. In the name of Jesus, we speak with new tongues. In the name of Jesus, we take up serpents. And in the name of Jesus, if we drink anything deadly it will by no means hurt us in the name that is above every day even the name of Jesus we lay hands on the sick and they recover And so, Father, Lord God Almighty, we thank you. We thank you, O oh God, for the gift of God. We thank you, Jehovah, because Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Christ became a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree that the blessings of Abraham might come upon us through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. For all the promises of God in Christ, they are yes, and in him, amen. That God may be glorified in our lives. Father Lord God Almighty. This is your word. 
You see, if we will diligently listen to your voice, O oh God, and do what is right in your eyes, and give ear to your commandments, and keep your statutes, you will put none of the diseases on us that you put on the Egyptians, for you are the Lord who heals us. Oh, Father Lord God Almighty, but thank you because all the conditions of this promise has been fulfilled in Christ Jesus for us. And that's why we know that Christ is in us. It means we're on the way to glory. Thank you, Father Lord God Almighty, for you care so much. You care so very, very much for us. You say we should come to you. All those who labor and are heavy laden. And you give us rest. Lord God Almighty. We come to you this morning. We ask for your promise, O God, of rest. For you are the God that gives. You give your children sleep. Sound sleep. You say, would you take your yoke upon us and learn from you? For indeed, you are gentle and lowly in heart. And from you, O oh God, we shall find rest for our souls. For your yoke is easy. And your burden, your burden is light. O oh Lord, our God and our Father. We declare this morning, Lord, that we give full attention to your words. We incline, O oh God, our ears to your sayings. We will not let them depart from our eyes. We will keep them in the midst of our hearts. For they are life to us and medicine to all our flesh. They are medicine to our bodies. For it is you, O God, and no one else. It is you, O God, and no doctor. It is you. It is you, Jehovah, who works in us both to will and to do for your good pleasure. And so we say, Lord God Almighty, since the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in us, the same Holy Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead will also give life to our mortal bodies through the Holy Spirit who dwells in us. And so, Father, Lord, God Almighty, we thank you. We thank you, O oh God, because by your grace you have made us children of obedience. 
By your grace, O oh God, you have brought us to the knowledge of your salvation. And so we declare, Father, Lord God Almighty, that we will serve you. We will serve the Lord our God. We will serve you. We will serve you, Lord. And you will bless our bread. You will bless our water according to your word. You will take sickness away from us. For you have said, Lord God Almighty, unto those who fear your name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing. With healing in his wings. And that's why, Jehovah, we have called this fellowship Healing Wings. Because we are the people, Lord, who Eat your bread of healing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We are the people, oh God, who have made your healing a staple diet. We are the ones, Lord God Almighty. Father Lord, that are called the healed of the Lord. We are the ones. We are the ones, oh God, that you have redeemed from destruction. And so we say, Lord God Almighty, give us the grace to trust you. To trust in you, oh God, in all our, with all our hearts. Let us not lean on our own understanding. Let us acknowledge you in all our ways. Knowing that you will direct our paths. Let us, Father Lord, not be wise in our own eyes. But let us fear the Lord and depart from evil. For it will be health to our flesh and strength to our bones. Father Lord, we acknowledge that we are our worst enemies. We acknowledge this morning, oh God, that the enemy is in us. We acknowledge, oh God, that we are bound, imprisoned by our addictions, bound, oh God, by our bad habits. Suffering Jehovah from bad impulses. And that's why we are here, oh God, to cry out to the Lord in our troubles. That you may save us out of our distresses. For your word says concerning the church in the wilderness, you sent your word and you healed them. and deliver them from their destructions. Father Lord, God Almighty, do the same for us. For you are the God that doesn't change. Oh, that men will give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works. to the children of men. O oh Lord, our God and our Father, we cried to you 
and you healed us. You brought us up from the grave. You have kept us alive, O oh God. You've kept us alive through plagues, through pandemics, through Ebola, through COVID-19, through Omicron. Father, Lord God Almighty, you have kept us alive by your power. You have determined that we will not go to the pits. And so, Lord, we declare that we will not die but live. We will declare the works of the Lord. We will magnify the Lord. We will praise in the name of Jesus. Lord, we have called daily upon you. We have stretched out our hands to you, O oh God. Will you work wonders for the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise you? Shall your loving kindness be declared in the grave? Or your faithfulness in the place of destruction? Shall your wonders be known in the dark? And your righteousness in the land of forgiveness? No, no, capital N-O. We say, oh Lord, by these things men shall live. And in all these things is the life of our spirit for you will restore us. Oh God, you will make us live. Indeed, it was for our peace, oh God, that we had great distresses. It was for our peace that we had great bitterness. But you have lovingly delivered our souls from the pit of corruption. You have cast all our sins behind your back. For the grave cannot thank you. Death cannot praise you, O oh God. Those who go down to the pit cannot hope for your truth. The living, the living man, he shall praise you as we do this morning for you oh god you have given us life you set before us life and death you set before us blessing and cursing and father lord with your help we chose life we chose life that both we and our descendants may live in your sight. And so we thank you. Because we know we have passed from death to life. We know, oh God, that with long life will you satisfy us. We know that you will show us your salvation. Yes, God will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For there shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain. For the former things are passed away. Because the Lord our God is the one who make, makes all things new. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. 
he is the one who gives the fountain of water of life freely to those of us who thirst. He is the one who has said, he who overcomes shall inherit all things. He is our God. And we are his children. Bless the Lord forevermore. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Let all that is within me bless God's holy name. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and death. Yes, the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. But Jesus came that we may have life and that we may have it more abundantly. Blessed be God forevermore. For he anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about doing good and healing all who are oppressed by the devil. For God, God was with him. And so we acknowledge this morning that Jesus Christ is our life. We are confident that when Christ, who is our life, appears, we shall also appear with him in glory. Then our light shall break forth like the morning, and our healing shall spring forth speedily, and our righteousness shall go before us and the glory of the Lord will be our rear guard. And so we bless the Lord this morning, the great physician, for he is our healer. He is not only our healer, the Lord God Almighty is also our nurse. He is the one who nurses us back to good health when we are sick. The psalmist says, blessed is he who considers the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. And he will be blessed on the earth. God will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. The Lord will strengthen him on his bed of illness. He will sustain him on his sick bed. We bless the name of the Lord because this scripture is fulfilled in our lives. It is fulfilled in our hearing. It is fulfilled in us. To the praise and glory of the name of God. For Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. 
the chastisement for our peace was laid upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. Jesus himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree. That we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness by whose stripes we were healed. And so we say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord God Almighty. For God is the strength of our hearts. He is a portion forever. For his strength is made perfect in our weakness. Therefore, when we are weak, we say we are strong. The Lord is our shepherd. We have everything we need. He is the God who makes us lie down in green pastures. He is the God who leads us beside the still waters. He is the Savior who restores our souls. He is the Bishop who leads us in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil. For the Lord Ebenezer is with us. And his rod and his staff, they comfort us. And so, Father Lord, this morning, we bring our petitions to you. Concerning, Father Lord, anyone and everyone in healing wings that is sick or ailing, anyone that is sick in the body or sick in the mind, Father, we declare that there is, there is Bam in Gilead. The great physician is there there will be recovery for your people. For this is your, your promise, oh God, you say, is there any among us who is suffering? Let him pray. Is there anyone who is cheerful? Let him sing psalms. Is anyone among us sick? Let me call for the elders of the church. Let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. You say, Lord, that we should confess our trespasses to one another and pray for one another that we may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. And that's why, Lord God Almighty, we thank you. We thank you, O God, that You are the one that has been healing the hand of Elijah. For we called upon you, O God, concerning that hand. 
And Lord, he has testified that indeed the healing has progressed. He said, yes, he has seen the hand of the Lord. He has tasted of the healing of God. And so, Lord God Almighty, we, we bring the other cases in our prayer chain before you. We remember again, oh God, Benjamin Arinze. We ask, Father Lord, that you perfect that which concerns him. Perfect everything that concerns him. Lord God Almighty, there is no sickness that is beyond you. Last year, you healed cancer in healing wings. We say, Lord God Almighty, do it again for Paul's wife. Do it again, oh God, for Nia's mom in the name of Jesus. Take that cancer away by your glorious power, by your marvelous power. For it is not by power or by might, but by your Holy Spirit. Father, let there be healing. In healing wings, oh God, let there be healing. In healing wings, oh God, let your people know that indeed you are a healer. You are the God of who heals. You are the God of covenant. You are the God who says whosoever we touch and pray for, you will heal. Father Lord God Almighty, you are not man that you should lie. Neither are you the son of man that you change your mind. You said it, you will do it. You said it, you will do it. And that's why, oh God, when we pray for healing, we believe immediately and we start to give you thanks. And we start to bless you. For we are here this morning on behalf of every member of Healing Wings. Father, Lord, God Almighty, you have moved us from time to eternity. And so this morning we are praying for every member of Healing Wings in the past, in the present, and even in the future, that Lord God Almighty, your healing virtue will speak concerning them. Your healing virtue, oh God, will speak concerning them. That your anointing, O God, will break every yoke of sickness, every yoke of disease in their lives in the name of Jesus. And every stranger of sickness in their flesh, in their blood, in their blood, in their water will come out of close places in the name of Jesus. And that which you have not planted, O God, shall be uprooted from your people in the name of Jesus, that your name, your name, your name alone may be glorified. For unto those who fear your name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, in Healing Wings Chapel of Faith. Say, Lord God Almighty, let there be healing. Let there be healing. Let us see this glory of God. Let us see this glory of God. Let us experience this marvelous work of yours, O oh God, again and again and again and again and again in healing wings. For you created us, O oh God, for your glory. And so we say, Lord God Almighty, in healing wings, no sickness shall be unto death. 
in healing wings, O God, all sickness shall be unto the glory of God. That Father, Lord, God Almighty, you may be glorified in us. You may be glorified in your people. In your people. For we are your chosen generation. We are, O oh God, your holy nation. We are the people, Father, Lord, God Almighty, that show forth the praises of you, the God who translated us from the power of darkness into your marvelous light. Where the people, Lord God, that receive strength from you, We are the people, Father, Lord, God Almighty, that are upheld by your victorious right hand. We are the people, Father, Lord, God Almighty, that will never, ever stop to give you praise because we will open our mouths wide and you will fill it, O oh God, with thanksgiving. You will fill it, O oh God, with praise. You will fill it, O oh God, with the adoration of the Most High. For Lord God Almighty, we love you with all our hearts, with all our mind, with all our strength, with all our soul, Lord God Almighty. We adore you, you the desire of our hearts. It is you, O oh God, that we seek. It is you that we want. It is you, Father Lord, that we adore. Thank you, Father, for this time of refreshing in your presence. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. Say to the righteous, you are the apple of God's eye. Tundi Omoya, you are the apple of God's eye. Amen. You are the apple of God's eye. Tundi Omoya. Thank you, Jesus. And Apika. And Elizabeth. And Elizabeth. Good night.